Hey there, Jamie Smith, CF Pro Tools. Just had a question in the Facebook group on how to create a two column section with a dash border around one column, but not the other column. So say you wanna have a, a video on the left column and a dash bordered opt-in box on the right column, but not have that dashboard show up around the whole thing. Uh, I had a question on how to do that. So I just wanted to run through, just take a couple seconds here to run through an example of how to get that done. So I'm inside my uh, test funnel here. I'm gonna create, I've already created a new page. I'm just gonna pick a template here. Uh, it doesn't really matter what kind of template. Let's uh, let's go into a sales page uh, template. Let's see, let's just pick uh, this template right here. And uh, so we're gonna throw this up. It's creating the page. Like Russell said, okay, so now we're in the edit page and in uh, once it pulls up here, in true Russell Brunson fashion, we're gonna go ahead and gut this thing, start from scratch, and uh, we'll just keep the background in there for now. So we're gonna add a new section and then we're gonna add a new row and we're gonna make a two column block. We're gonna add to page and then let's add a new, um, let's add a video element in here. We'll click add to page. And then I'm going to add a new opt-in here. And uh, so let's just add in some, uh, we'll add in a headline. Uh, we'll go in here and we'll add a, an input. And then we'll just duplicate. We'll add in a few more inputs here. And then let's add in a button. And so this is going to make it look like our uh, opt-in form. And what we want to do is have a dashed border around this column, but not around this column. So what we want to do here is actually go over into the columns selector here. And we can see if we highlight this right column, then it highlights uh, over in the editor. So if we click on that, then we get to set the settings just for that column. So then if we set the background color here, we'll be actually setting it for just that column. So you'll notice the changes there. So we can make, uh, you know, we can do some settings there. We can have that have kind of a, a different uh, background there. We can update the uh, the margins or the padding. And let's do, let's do 40, um, oh, 40, not 400. We'll do bottom margins. We'll do that at 40 as well. Um, actually, let's bump these down to 20 and 20. And then... Let's go in and we want to set, let's set a top margin here so we're, so we get that kind of even up with that video. Okay, we're looking better there. And now we can do uh, corners. We want to do a five pixel radius on the corners. We want to do edges and we can do border. And here's where we can set our dashed border. We want to do a full border and we want to do dashed just like that. And we can even pick our dash color. So we want that dash to be, say we want it to be white. So it looks like that. And that's how you set that. Uh, and actually, let's, let's, uh, we're going to set this here and we'll do, just do 30 there. And so there you can see we have got a dashed border around just one of the columns. And we'll do a quick preview. We'll see what that looks like. And there you can see we've got that dashed border just around that one column, not both. So just make sure and inside of your editor, use your columns selector. And that's going to show you this here. Otherwise, if you're just going up, you don't get an option to edit just this column. You're going to be editing the entire row and the settings for that row. And that doesn't give you the option to mess with just the column. So that's how you make one column's backgrounds, borders, padding whatever different than the other column if you're doing a column uh, multi-column block that works with it's a two column three column six column whatever uh, just use your column selector and that will do the trick for you hope this has been helpful talk to you again real soon